Hello, today I've gotten a request to do a video on how to um, turn Windows into full screen. And there are basically two steps or two different ways for a window to be full screen. All the Linux based uh, virtual machines. You open this file. And here you can either allow full screen for a specific virtual machine. I whitelisted two virtual machines to have uh, permission to do full screen. Or you can simply do a allow full screen equals true here. And then remove uh, those. Then remove uh, this part. And it will be enabled for all the virtual machines. So if you have a Windows, um, the whole Windows runs inside a virtual machine, but you can also um, t uh, turn it into seamless mode and have the Windows, like this terminal window, uh, running on, on top of the Dome Zero desktop. So in order to do that, you have to install the uh, Windows uh, tools inside this virtual machine. And for in order to do that, we have to do two changes inside the virtual machine first. Uh, this is a Windows installation. If you have a problem installing Windows 7 uh, using Cubes and it, it simply hangs at uh, starting Windows, then take a look at the um, description box of this video. I will link another video where is where you can see a bug fix for that problem. So now we are going to open up a CMD and we right click on it and open as administrator. And here we can do a BCD edit test signing on. Or how is it spelled? BCD edit test signing. Oh, hold on, it just said test signing on. Okay. So this basically allows us to install the uh, required cubes drivers. And then there is a second step which is to open the NPL set with NetPL with and here we can disable that the user has to enter a password when logging on. So now I confirm with my user password from Windows and click OK. So those are the two preparations inside the virtual machine. Now we can shut down the virtual machine. And if you've watched the previous video, you will know that I created a um, Windows 7 custom config. Basically the bug fix, uh, bug fix was to replace Xen here with uh, Cirrus and then your Windows 7 can uh, finish the installation. So now we do a QVM start Windows 7 minus minus install Windows tools. So that will now start Windows 7 and mount the uh, Windows ISO to it. So if we take a look at the Windows 7 config file, you can see that it now has a file attached which is called user lib cubes cubes Windows tools ISO. And down here we still have the Xen section, so basically it will not finish loading up. What you now can do is QVM kill Windows 7. And now we copy the Windows 7 conf and call it Windows 7 cubes tools.conf. Now go inside this Windows 7 cubes tools conf, scroll to the bottom. And here we are going to replace Xen with Cirrus. You can see that we still have the uh, link to the uh, Cubes Windows Tools ISO. Oh yeah, and you have to make sure that you have to uh, install that packet inside um, DOM0. And you can do it by this command. Cubes DOM zero update Cubes Windows Tools. If it doesn't install the package, you have to enable uh, another repository. 
and you can do it with that command. So I've already done that, so I can already skip that step. Okay, so now if let me check if I finished editing this file. So I've got the Cirrus down here, and I've got the ISO here. Okay, so now I can start the Windows 7 by specifying the CD-ROM drive, uh, the custom conf Windows 7 cubes tools. So for some reason it didn't uh, change, uh, save the NetWiz setting, so I had to enter my password again. So I'm going back in here and untick that box one more time. I think last time I also had to do it two times, I don't know why. Okay. And now we can go to computer. And here you will see the Cubes Tools uh, virtual disk mounted. And we can start with the installation of the Cubes Tools. Uh, with QVM Prefs, you can basically display the settings of the virtual machine. And once we finish the installation, QR access installs should be set to true and QR access timeout to 300 and I think GUI agent installed also set to true. And I think you can also set the default user here. Yeah, the default user, which is set to user. And as you can see, I also installed my Windows using the username user. Okay, so uh, the driver of Xen has finished and it asks us to reboot, but you don't click yes because then it will reboot and we still have to finish the steps in the background. So you click no. Cube's private disk initialized as E. So we had our, um, our documents and basically all our user data, which is located on C users and this folder will be moved to a uh, second disk, which is called Cube's private image. And if you look inside the Cube's VM manager, you can see that uh, the Windows 7 virtual machine has two different disks. So for once it has the uh, 50 gigabyte C drive, which is this one. And then we have the private storage, which is two gigabytes, which is this one. So on the next reboot, it will copy over the files from C user to E. You need to format the disk in E before you use it. And I think that has already been done. Yeah, we can already view the data. So we can cancel that and we can finish the installation. 
So now all that's left to be done is to restart the virtual machine. And let's take another look at the QBM prefs. And it's still set to false, and I think that's um, because it actually has to start one more time for it to be changed. But what we can already do is set the QR exec timeout to 300 seconds. So basically, when we start the virtual machine, it waits for Windows to be started up and then it has uh, basically some sort of connection and can execute commands inside it and if your virtual machine takes longer than 60 seconds to start you should raise that limit and now we can basically QVM start Windows 7 custom conf and now I'm going to go back to using my Windows 7 custom conf which has only this Cirrus in here and doesn't have the uh, Cubes ISO but the Windows 7 ISO. that window here too. Now it's copying over the C users to E users. And you can see Windows now starts up in full screen mode. So now we have one virtual machine and it can basically, uh, the resolution can be the same as the desktop resolution. Where before I think I was only able to go up to like half of that. So what we can also do is shut down the virtual machine, open our cubes windows manager and go to the virtual machine to VM settings and enable seamless GUI. And seamless GUI basically allows us to uh, run a program inside the windows 7 virtual machine for example explorer.exe. and it will not start the whole um, GUI of Windows, it will only um, start up that single window, so th only the explorer.exe. Hold on, it didn't do that like it's supposed to. Maybe I have to shut it down first. Wait for it to be properly shut down. Oh yeah, and let's see about the QVM prefs of Windows 7. 
So now the GUI agent is installed. The seamless GUI mode is set to true. Cure access, uh, cure exec installed is true, and the timer is set to 300. So let's try it one more time. Okay, that's more like it. So now we have only the Explorer EXE running and not the whole Windows. And that's the seamless GUI. That way you can, for example, install, uh, let's say, Excel inside your virtual machine. And then you can have Excel here and use Excel or, for example, MRC or whatever, whatever uh, Windows application you plan on using. Okay, I hope this uh, did give you some advice on how to do this. Uh, talk to you soon.